Unlike the body and paint shops, the assembly line is highly labor intensive. In our assembly hall, robots are used for the installation of the sunroof seal, installing the sunroof, gluing the shark fin, glass gluing, glass install, engine mirrors, and lifting the doors from the main line up to the door transfer conveyor. We also use automated guided vehicles or AGVs to deliver parts to the line and as flexible conveyors in subassembly processes. I was always taught that the application of a robot should be based on a simple rule, when the job is dirty, dumb, or dangerous. And I would add also when extreme repeatability and accuracy is needed. We had an ergonomic issue on the door line where the associates had to use a hand roller to create a watertight butyl seal between the door foil and the door. The push force was high and created wrist injuries. So we felt it would be a great application to trial a new collaborative robot. These robots require no safety fences and are designed to work alongside humans. Collaborative robots are programmed to know their position points and their movement is smooth and slower than conventional robots. It's safe for humans to work alongside these types of robots. If there is any resistance from the program path, the robot stops immediately. Regarding the training of associates, there really isn't any specific training needed, with the obvious exception of our engineers and our maintenance team. We do have plans for more collaborative robots. We are looking at operations that have negative ergonomic impacts. This would help us reduce thumb and wrist injuries. We've also successfully integrated a collaborative robot as the backup to our glass gluing station. This is significant for two reasons. One, a single robot can be used as a backup for several gluing applications, and two, an inexpensive collaborative robot can be used as a series solution for a low volume, low cost application. People have been saying that robots will take away jobs for years. What causes jobs to be lost are a poorly designed product, poor quality, and poor management decisions. The best way to protect jobs is to remain competitive and to leverage your strengths. When robots are properly applied, they ensure the healthy longevity of the employees and allow them to focus on quality and continuous improvement. The strength of a robot is repeatable precision. The strength of a human is the power to think, improve, solve problems, and define the future. And those are things that robots in the real world don't do. I'm a third generation auto worker from Detroit. I grew up knowing that I would be building cars for a living. When you're passionate about what you do, your customers will be fans and you'll never work a day in your life. The automobile is a dynamic piece of art. It is a personal statement about the driver and an object that will outlive its creators. The products that my grandfather and his team created are still collected and driven today. To me, there's no better validation of your life's work than that.